a team that a lot of us think are going to exceed their win total from last year. They'll go as far as some of their young stars take them. Young stars like Riley Green, who joins us on the Monday Stove. Riley, good to see you. Good morning. Morning. How are we doing, guys? We're great. Uh, hey, is it early enough in camp for things not to be stale yet? I know that in the next couple weeks, you'll all be kind of dying to get into the regular season. But where are you right now in terms of camp and everybody's attitude? Uh, camp's going great. Um, you know, the vibes are super high in the clubhouse. You know, guys are staying for hours after the games, just chopping it up in the, in the locker room. So you know, camp's going great here, and, and we're having a good time. Hey, Riley, uh, I, I got one question I've been wondering forever. Following you on the draft boards all the way through everything, is there a meaning to the name Riley? Um, I think my parents um, found it in like a cartoon or something. I don't really <laughs> know which one, but I think it was a cartoon. All right, I just had to know that. I've been wondering that. Hey, all Riley, Harold Her right. has, dive back he into has asked some doozy questions over the years. Uh, we're going to put that on the uh, end of the year highlight reel. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> hey, so take me through now. This is uh, like year three or four or so. You're starting to get into that routine. What have you learned going to spring training that you're doing different now than maybe three years ago? Um, a big thing is just you know, staying healthy, really, um, you know, getting in the training room early, even if you don't really feel like it, just getting in there, getting in there early, uh, getting the stuff you need to get done, you know, making sure your body's prepared the best it can be for that day. And that will that will make the biggest difference in the world once the season comes. What's what's the biggest thing? I'm looking at video you hitting here. It looks like you're more upright than you were before. What's some of the, the, the changes that you've gone through in your swing? I haven't really changed much. Um, you know, we're just trying to work on posture a lot, uh, not diving into the ball, you know, just trying to stay upright, almost like a, almost like a Corey Seager. Corey Seager's, you know, his posture is incredible. Um, you know, just really trying to keep that because then my hands will be able to fly through and, you know, not get stuck. Hey, Riley, I I'm curious about this for somebody like yourself who's your Florida guy you your spring training home not far from home uh, you're very familiar with life in Florida Central Florida specifically in the spring then the season starts the bell rings and you go up to the frozen hinterlands of Michigan to play uh, your home games is that adjustment difficult in terms of conditions when we get to late March early April um, a tiny bit I feel like I feel like it's a little bit of a factor but, um, you know, just trying to put on as many warm clothes as you can, to be honest, <laughs> because it's a, it's a big difference going from here up to Michigan because what it's like 25 degrees there and it's like 80 degrees here, but you know, just trying to stay as warm as possible. So, uh, you guys are growing up quick. I mean, you're looking at Torkelson yourself. Uh, what, what's the young core talking about now? Do you look at the division and say, Hey, we really got a shot here now. Yeah, you know, we're, um, that's our goal this year. Our goal is to win the division and, um, you know, we're going to, we're going to work, work really, really hard to do it. And, you know, we're just, uh, we're just trying to try to take it day by day and, you know, focus on ourselves and the small things we can do to make that happen. What kind of camp does AJ run? Tell us about uh, life with AJ Hinch because, uh, we're fans of his. He's had so much success. He connects with people in uniform, out of uniform. Um, what kind of camp does he run for you guys? He's great. I mean, he um, he's very, very organized. You know, he's he's telling us a week in advance when we're playing, when we're not playing, when we have workout days and not, and, you know, really organized. You know, it's really, it's really laid back. But, you know, when it's time to get on the field, you know, we're going to get after it and we're going to, focus on the small details we need to focus on and you know we're going to do things right and if we don't do it right we're going to do it all over again. So do you set personal goals going into the season? And if so, uh, what do you try to do? You know, just really focusing on my timing and staying healthy, really cuz if your timing's there and you're healthy, you're you're in a pretty good spot for the um, for the start of the season. So that's that's really my main goal there. So you've touched on staying healthy like two or three times now. What, what, um, how are you health wise? How'd you get past the injury and rehab and everything else? And is that really why you're saying, if I stay healthy, I'll be able to do what I'm doing? 
yeah, I mean, I feel like, I feel like that's a goal for a lot of people, but, um, I've been on the IL a few times, uh, more times than I want to. And, um, you know, rehab went great this off season. I've been here since October, three, four days a week. And, you know, it went, went really good. And I feel like I put my body in the best possible position to be in for the spring training and for the season. Hey, I want to get back to the uh, Florida component of your uh, your boyhood, I guess, growing up. What, who was your favorite team as a kid? Central Florida? Where, did you gravitate toward one of the Florida teams as a kid, or was it somebody else? So I was a Rays fan growing up uh, because we would go to, like, all our games all the time. Um, and I, I was kind of a Marlins fan, too. It was the, it was the Florida Marlins back then. I say, I say back then. It was a couple years ago. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like – I liked them both, but I didn't really like follow a team like really heavily. I just, I just like going to watch them play. Was there a player on one of those teams that was your guy? Was there a left-handed hitter? I mean, you, it's funny to say, but he's probably too young to remember when Cliff played. I'm talking about Cliff Floyd, our oh, own yeah. uh, colleague here, yeah. left-handed yes, batter, yeah. fearsome hitter. Who was your guy? So, complete opposite player, um, Evan Longoria, actually. He was uh, he was the third baseman there when I would go and watch him play, and um, I love I loved watching him play. That's of, pretty there's cool. There's a lot of people that would agree with you on that. Hey Riley, hey, we so last thing Riley before we let you go, yeah. I know I know we kept you long enough, but I, I want you to give some advice. You were a fifth pick overall, and you were in that mix all the time. So there's a lot of youngsters getting ready for this upcoming season and possible draft picks. As you went through that process and you look back now, what would your advice be to them? Be yourself uh, and make sure that you do the small things right, you know, taking care of your body as much as you can, eating right, you know, just focusing on that and, um, you know, have fun too. You know, this game is a lot of fun and if you don't, if you don't have fun with it, you know, then what are you doing? Riley, we appreciate the visit, man. Big things expected of you and the Tigers this year. So thanks for the time and good luck in 2024.